This major city mayor says, I support the Second Amendment, but... Then he continues to tell how he's going to violate state law to strip the rights away from residents. You're going to want to watch this one. First, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that is the Sonoran Desert Institute. With over 350 million firearms in the United States, the time has never been better to learn how to be a gunsmith. Sonoran Desert Institute offers online programs like firearms technology education with hands-on labs and materials shipped directly to your door. Course topics range from AR-10, AR-15, or 1911 armorers options to shooting sports management, ballistics, gunsmithing, and a ton more. Get your education and turn your passion for firearms into a successful career. Visit sdi.edu slash gng to get started today. Thanks to SDI for sponsoring the video. All right, so yesterday, the Savannah, Georgia Mayor Van Johnson announced he submitted new gun control measures to the city council, like I said, in violation of Georgia's preemption law. What does that mean first? Well, he and city council literally cannot pass any ordinance like he's, like he's submitting because the state law does not grant them the authority to do that. Local governments cannot pass ordinances that are more restrictive than the state laws on firearms in Georgia already are. So, if they do try to pass it, they'll, and, and they're dumb enough to put it in, in, into effect, they'll get sued and they will lose. It's pretty you know, cut and dry, black and white. Now, what is he trying to pass? Well, the mayor claims, listen to this though, the mayor claims that 200 and 44 guns were stolen from cars last year in 2023. Of those, 203 were from unlocked vehicles. He says so far in 2024 that 69 guns have been stolen from vehicles with 56 of those coming from unlocked cars. Now, as a result, Johnson is asking the city council to amend chapter nine of the city of Savannah's code to add these new firearm security offensive. Offensive? Offenses. And they are offensive. The first one would require all firearm owners and dealers to report firearm thefts to the Savannah Police Department. The second ordinance submitted uh, would require people to lock their firearms in a locked container in a vehicle when parked and not make them visible. Whenever you mention that G word, people really get upset. Um, and in the time that you could take to call my office and complain about it, you could lock your gun up. Now, like I said, he'd be violating state law and passing these ordinances, but these gun controllers are after one thing, and that's to disarm you, the law-abiding citizen. I also have a serious question for my brothers and sisters in Savannah. Are there that many people who secure, actually, I shouldn't use that word, let's, let's do it this way. Are there that many people in Savannah that are leaving their guns in their cars, and if so, not lock the gun in, a, in something in the car, and then leave the car unlocked? Really? Are there that many people? Because if there are, you're helping the anti-gunners get their narrative. Like, this is mind-blowing, these numbers. That's a boatload of people who are being, let's say, less than responsible with firearms. Now, I'm gonna stop you right now because some people who might live in Savannah or somewhere else right now, their ha hair is on fire and their eyes are bleeding. And rather than say, you know, these people should lock their, their stuff up or be responsible, take the gun with you. Jared, I can't believe you're saying that. Yeah, I'm not in favor of a law forcing people to do anything with their lawfully owned items. But for crying out loud, if there are 244 guns stolen from vehicles in a single month, then these people should know damn well that they're in an area that's considered a high crime area and use their frickin' dome piece and not leave a gun easily accessible to criminals, okay? Criminals are gonna do what they want and if they know that you are armed or you have a gun and you're just like, eh, I'm just gonna throw it on the seat or oh, I'm just gonna put it in this glove box and let people watch me do it and not lock it up. 
Now that's again, obviously assuming, and I don't like to assume because it makes an ass out of you and me, but assuming this, these numbers he reported are accurate, and that would be coming from the fire, uh, not the fire, <laughs> from, the, from the police department. Uh, bad, like bad all around. Like the people, almost 300 people getting gu guns stolen out of cars in a month. Well, A, crime is a serious issue, Mayor, and the law abiding, yeah, they may be, it may be messed up and got their stuff stolen, but who stole it? Number one. Uh, two, guys and gals, like, do a little better. Be better. And number three, we don't need any new laws. Uh, they're just looking for an, a means to an end. They are want to take your guns, and if you give them every ample opportunity, then they're going to utilize that opportunity. They're going to go after that weakness. So hopefully people in Savannah, like, hit the lock button, or, you know, turn the key to lock the car, set an alarm, throw it in a box. You can get one at six ninety nine for six ninety nine at uh, Walmart. Lock it. Cable goes around the uh, the seat post. Take it with you. You know, do something other than, uh, hey, Mister McCriminal, putting my gun under my seat, and I'm gonna leave the car unlocked. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I just wanted to bring this to you. Literally got home. Uh, drove all day from Nashville, went and grabbed lunch, came right down to record this because I saw this uh, story while I was eating. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Savannah, Georgia. Mayor is going to violate the law, the state law, to violate your rights because some people are being less than ideal in the handling of firearms. Let me know what you think down below. Am I out of my tree? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I just spent too much time around legislators. Oh, by the way, Tennessee, you got a big problem. And we're going to be talking about that as we go along. You have a, we, we have a big problem in our legislature. Leadership of the Senate hates your gun rights. The, the colonel of the state police, who I was shoulder to shoulder with, hates your gun rights. He actually testified that he was afraid of guns. <laughs> Wait to hear more on that one. Have a great day. Subscribe to the channel. I'll keep you in the loop every single day. Take care.